this is It's Going to Be Okay with me, Dr. Roseanne. And if you're new to me and you're learning about pans and pandas or you're trying to figure out if your child has pans and pandas, please join our group, Natural Parenting Solutions, drroseanne.com forward slash group. We're in here. It's a safe space with people that are like you. This is where you find your tribe, people who want to get their kid better. <laughs> talking about my five pronged approach to pans and pandas treatment. And if you're new to me and you want to find your tribe, you want to find natural solutions for mental health for pans and pandas, please join our group www.drrosian forward slash group. It's free. You got no excuse. Get your butt in there and let's find out how to help your child. And if you want to jump in and actually already start working with us, you can find how to get the right help, the right solution by taking our solution matcher and it's drrosanne.com forward slash help. And we will um, guide you to the right solution exactly where you need to be. But today we're talking about that five pronged approach to pans and pandas. And I'm going to show you my groovy slide that I'm super excited about because I find this to be really helpful. So we often talk about three parts, right? As I mentioned, antimicrobial and toxin treatment, immune treatment, and psychotherapy and behavioral. But we ain't talking about the two things that you already heard me talk about in our last episode, calming the brain and detoxification. Those are the two biggest barriers that I see to treatment. So let's talk about antimicrobial and toxin treatment first, because this is where most people are spending their effort. And I'm not saying it's not important. It's really important. And I wish I could tell you one out of the five pieces is more important than the other. They're not. But I also know that if you don't get that nervous system out of a hyper-stress activated state, you can't heal. So it really is incredibly important and as important as actually addressing the toxins and the infections, right, that are there. So Antimicrobial and toxin treatment can look very different. We have allopathic ways, right? I mentioned IVIG and plasmapheresis in a previous episode. We have antibiotics. I'm not opposed to any of these things. Um, but I also want to talk about herbals and talk about um, different treatments that um, help support the healing process and getting you know, toxins in the out, which were, detoxification is his own. So in my own journey, we found that, you know, working with our provider, Lauren Lee Stone, make sure you listen to that episode. It's awesome. Um, and she healed her one son from autism and another from bands, um, like very severe autism. Like she was told to int institutionalize him, him. him. He's just wrapping up his PhD and getting married. Yeah. And he's lovely, lovely. Um, so when it comes to antimicrobials, there is a variety of ways to treat uh, bacterial infections, parasitic infections, and uh, viral infections. And unfortunately, they typically all need something a little different. And there are lots of ways to actually treat um infections, particularly related to tick-borne infections. But here's my like best advice after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on tick-borne infection treatment um, is that you really want to know what's there as the best of your ability and you really want to target it. And the herbals are unbelievable. And there are different ways to approach the herbals. So there are main like types of, of treatments that overlap. So there are the Buner protocol, right? Which was Dr. Buner, I believe he passed away. And then there's Klinghart. Um, and then there is Cowden. And they're all three are sort of the main ones. I'm not saying there's not other ones, but I'm saying these are the three main ones that sort of everything sort of comes from, because I've been in Lyme disease since 1997. So I've seen a lot of things sort of come and go. Um, but these are sort of the grandfathers. And, and there's a particularly Cowden protocol. Nutramedics has really 
grabbed on to the Cowden Protocol and done a lot of testing with Dr. Eva Sappy at the University of New ha Haven and showing how effective these antimicrobials are. They're not only effective because they're more targeted to the infection, they're less of a destroyer and a disruptor to the microbiome and the things around it, which then helps improve treatment because we need to keep our gut intact as much as humanly possible. And you just need to kill those suckers. Um, there's also different ways of actually treating. So tick-borne and, you know, illnesses, oh man, you know, are so genetically evolved and a spirochete has like such freaky, freaky ability to hide, you know, it can hide inside a cell for decades and, you know, months, you know, weeks, years, whatever you want, to, it can hide. And it has a screw in mechanism, it can go inside of a cell. So when you're blasting it, you know, we would blast Max for two years at a time, and he would do better, and then he'd come off, and they'd come out of the cell. So there's all these ways that people approach it. And I think that's really, really important. I could geek out and spend like a million years talking with you just on these points. Um, there are also many antivirals that are incredibly helpful for, for all the, you know, types of viruses. Like um, we have, you know, herpes 6, we have Coxsackie, we have Epstein-Barr, we have COVID, uh, you name it a virus, it can cause a misdirected immune response. Please know if I didn't mention your virus doesn't mean um, that it wasn't there. I think I'm mentioning all the ones that, that affected me and Max, right? So I'm actually struggled with Epstein-Barr, got it at 17. Um, and really, I already was a healthy person, but that swung me into a very different, you know, path. And I have to watch what I do. Um, and it really has affected my endocrine system and I just have to live a balanced life. So these, you have to look at immune treatment and you have to look at what is helping and you can't ignore it by any means. It's really important. And then we have to look at our immune system. What can we do that's traditional? What are these herbs? What are these supplements that actually can boost your immune system? And a lot of people do this and do it well. You have to be careful not to over boost an over activated system, particularly without detoxifying. Um, and that is really, really important in this whole um, process because, you know, you want to make sure that the immune system is supported and not overactive, right? Um, and that uh, requires a skilled practitioner, right? So, and everyone can feel like they're going to a skilled practitioner. It may not always be the case. So let's talk about calming the brain and detoxification and psychotherapy. Really important to um, always, always make sure that we are detoxifying when we are treating, because if you're not moving the toxins out that I talked in the previous episodes, they're just going to actually be as disruptive, disruptive to the system and destructive um, as the actual infections. And that is mind blowing to people. And again, I see this as something people don't necessarily do well, and that's important. So I've already talked to you about calming the brain in uh, all this episodes and hello, it's calm brain, happy family, but calming the brain for me is just what is holding people back, especially when I see so many people that get to like 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and there's something holding them back. And it's because the nervous system isn't working properly. Also, infections love to disrupt, disrupt brainwave functioning. So when I do the QEGs, um, viruses turn everything off and parasites can do a little of both. Um, but uh, bacteria, active bacteria likes to turn everything on. And so neurofeedback not only can help support and put it put you into a parasympathetic state, we can actually correct brainwave dysfunction. And we do it all the time. Um, and what's awesome about a QEG, there's no guessing. We know exactly what's working, what's not. And neurofeedback is one way that we do it, where we teach the brain to actually get into a regulated state. And, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it in, in a minute. We're going to dive just into that. I'm going to show you some case studies. But the next part of our five-pronged approach is psychotherapy and behavioral therapy. So We've already heard me say I'm traumatized. 
I'm sure me talking about your my stuff is traumatizing your stuff. I mean, if there's trauma in there, we need behavioral support, particularly when OCD is here. OCD is not going away. It's a behavioral habit in the brain, forms a negative association. Please listen to my OCD series if you haven't. Um, you need support. There's no way that you don't. It's a matter of finding the right literate provider. I think that's really important. So my five points that you must do is the actual antimicrobial and toxin treatment, immune treatment. You got to calm that brain down. Clearly a major, major factor of improvement. Detoxify and then behavioral and psychotherapy um, at some way, shape or form. And some of us may need more of it. How about that? So let's talk about neurofeedback, how it actually helps. So one, it calms the brain, gets you to go from that jacked up sympathetic sympathetic dominant to parasympathetic gets you out of fight flight or freeze and when the body is calm it can do its work it can turn on its heel and only when the brain is calm you're going to be able to pay attention you know take action think all those things it doesn't allow you and you know in our program this is how we work in our brain behavior reset program step one we do a brain check or a QEG. QEG, if you're willing to come in, brain check if you're fully remote. And that's this is if you're accepted into our program. You have to apply and be accepted. We only take a certain amount of people. And I'm gonna say this every time I mention our program, we don't care what your problem is. We care about your attitude to the problem. Uh, I am not Jesus. I work through Jesus. <laughs> and you are the magic. We guide you. And you are the magic. So sometimes people think you're just going to fix my kid. That's not how I work. We work together and we're here to help you and love up your family. I think that's one of the best part about our whole team. I meet with people. I create a care plan. If you're remote, we teach you how to use your equipment, um, explain neurofeedback, PMF. And then we do sessions of neurofeedback, PMF. We coach you. We data collect. We teach you all about all the ways to support your nervous system and how to really create that happy family. So I want to show you, um, if you are listening, I I want you to visualize a brain map. If you're watching, great. Um, and it's up on YouTube. But we have the privilege of being able to do brain maps. And it's able to give us sh real data, observable data about what happens after neurofeedback. Um, and in, and even with um, PMF added. So, you know, you're able to see befores and after. So this is a brain that was super overactivated, lots of rage, Lyme, strep, numerous viral infections, mood out of control for a 14-year-old girl, and was able to almost fully normalize except one out of the 19 points in her brain after doing neurofeedback, which is really amazing. Um, and then we do a lot of PANS and OCD, like a lot. Um, and so this is somebody that had COVID-induced OCD, also a teenager, and his brain was literally in a complete fog, totally shut down, and we were able to turn it back on and really have quite dramatic change um, in his brain functioning, which is incredible. And you saw me before knowing about my com P E M F. We use this all the time with our pans and pandas folks, and this is the immune and toxin one that really addresses um, how to support the body in eliminating toxins, but also um, supporting the body in processing out infections. And it's every component of what happens with a PANS activation. I personally designed the protocol and people used to um, come to the center, or still come to the center, and we have a large device um, that you have to be hooked up with mats. No, this is something you put it close to the body. You can wear it when you're sleeping. You can be out walking. You can do your, do your schoolwork. My people needed ease. I mean, I know what it's like to go from appointment to appointment after appointment. You heard me say that we had a homeschool um, because we couldn't keep up with all the appointments. And we used to have to, you know, be like, I got to have you sit down on a mat. No, you, this one you can put in a fanny pack. You can put in your pocket. And it's supporting the body and regulating improving 
detoxification by reducing inflammation and changing the way the cells talk to each other. It's an important part of all of our programs, um, but it is available for people on its own. And if you're looking for solutions, you can go to drrosanne.com forward slash help, and we can help guide you. But in pro in understanding what are those five parts of the program, you are very familiar with three, but please don't forget about calming the brain, improving detoxification. And it is a multi-pronged approach. And when you hit it hard and you're able to get 5% here, 2% here, 10% here, you create change. So if you feel stuck, I hope this was an inspiring series for you um, to know that, you know, we are in this together and whatever you can do to calm the nervous system is important. And I talk all about this in our natural parenting solutions group, which is free. And it's in my book. It's going to be okay. Other side. <laughs> um, and I lay out my whole program in there and there's lots of things that you can do. So wherever you are, whatever you can do, do it and just be consistent. Put your own oxygen mask on, calm your nervous system down. Your child is co-regulating off of you. And plus you heard me say, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And so take care of yourself. So I, if you love and care about anybody with pans and pandas, please share this, share this in Facebook groups, share this in Facebook pages, whatever you got. We have to share this information so that we can put a stop to anybody suffering more than they should. This is already a tough thing. And if we don't get people to the right solutions, they're just not going to get the right help.